Deshaun was driving his brand new Model S Plaid in Plano, Texas, when the driver of a pickup truck started to block him on the highway. Deshaun says he had no idea what the other driver was up to and that he'd done nothing to aggravate him. He knew that a road rage incident involving a shooting had occurred on this highway recently, so that information was fresh in his mind. He split between cars in an attempt to put some distance between himself and the other driver. The truck driver followed his lead and started to catch up to him. He finally pulled up alongside the Tesla, and Deshaun says he saw the other driver was pointing something at him. Deshaun decided to make a run for it by taking a late exit. Deshaun couldn't tell what the guy was pointing at him, but he assumed it was a gun. He says he didn't see the other car in the exit lane, and there was also a barrier in his way. He barely avoided the barrier, but he ended up hitting the other car. When the police arrived, Deshaun tried to show them his Tesla cam video, but his car had shut down and he couldn't open the door to access the SSD drive. Without the video evidence, the cops told him they couldn't do anything about the truck driver's behavior. Luckily, the occupants of the other car were uninjured. Deshaun apologized to them for what had happened and took full responsibility for the accident. Deshaun's Model S Plaid was deemed a total loss by his insurance provider. He's placed an order for a new one, and it's being delivered this week. Zijian was heading south toward Miami, Florida on I-95 in his Model Y. He was cruising along at 65 miles per hour when the driver of a Hyundai accelerated up behind him before suddenly swerving and hitting his driver's door. He then hit a semi-truck, almost getting himself crushed underneath it. Zijian pulled over on the shoulder and called 911. The offending Hyundai driver fled the scene along with the semi-truck. The next day, the police called and told him that the Hyundai driver had also called 911, but he didn't mention anything to them about hitting Zijian. Zijian downloaded a copy of the other guy's police report and his statement only mentioned his collision with the semi-truck. Zijian told the cops, that's not true. He sent them his Tesla cam footage and the police agreed that the accident was 100% the other driver's fault. His insurance provider took care of everything once it was discovered they both have the same insurance provider. Kenny was heading east on Highway 91 when traffic started to slow down. He noticed a Honda Civic coming to a complete stop in the fast lane, but a Ford Focus didn't stop, swerving into the carpool lane to avoid an accident. This gave the driver of a Lexus no time to react, causing him to rear-end the Honda and nearly hit Kenny's Model Y. Luckily, Kenny had checked his mirrors prior to the accident, and when he noticed that the Lexus wasn't slowing down, he tapped his accelerator. He believes this saved him from being involved in the accident. Alexander was driving his brand new, one-week-old 2022 Model Y home from the vet when a senile 69-year-old man decided to cut through without looking. Alexander hit the brakes, but physics weren't on his side and he couldn't stop in time, even though he'd been going the speed limit. When the police and paramedics arrived, Alexander showed them his Tesla cam footage, which clearly proved that the old man was 100% at fault. The old guy fled the scene because, as he explained it, he didn't know who'd hit him. He told the police he'd kept driving to try to find a police station, but he couldn't locate one. A police officer saw a vehicle matching the description of the one that had hit Alexander on his way to the accident scene, but he didn't know at the time this was important, and he was focused on responding to the scene. The other driver had a flat tire from the accident, so he ended up calling a tow truck. The tow truck driver took the guy and his car straight to the police station, where he was immediately charged with hit and run. Philip was driving his Model 3 on New Year's Eve in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. A Volkswagen Jetta was tailgating him very closely as he was exiting I-95. The VW driver took the corner way too fast and flipped over onto the median. Philip immediately called 911 and reported the accident. He also told the police he suspected the driver was drunk as he'd seen him swerving on I-95 prior to the accident. Sean had parked his Model 3 in Fort Worth, Texas when Sentry Mode captured the cart demon in action. The cart struck his Tesla straight on, causing a dent and some scratches to his rear bumper cover. Sean hasn't fixed the damage yet as he's waiting until he can also afford to replace the paint protection film and ceramic coating. Jenny had parked her Model 3 in Temple City, California when a careless woman wasn't paying attention to her shopping cart.
Would you blame this incident on the cart demon, or was this the woman's fault? Leave a comment and tell us what you think. Shannon was driving her Model X up the highway from Sydney to Port Macquarie in Australia. Autopilot was engaged when she heard a loud bang and saw some debris come flying across her lane. She heard something hit the car and later pulled over and reviewed her Tesla cam footage. She saw a car on the other side of the road had hit the arresting fence which had caused the debris to fly into her path. She hopes the other driver was okay. Alan was driving his Model 3 in New York City. As he was making a right turn from the right lane, a truck decided to make the same turn but from the left lane. The truck hit Alan's Tesla and the lug nuts sliced open his door like a can opener. They filed an insurance claim at the scene and the truck driver accepted full responsibility so the insurance process was very straightforward, especially with the footage included as evidence. Alex was driving his Model Y westbound on I-10 near Upland, California when he was suddenly startled by a pop on the left side. When Alex checked his side view mirror, he saw part of a tire rolling next to his car. Luckily it was a holiday week, so the highway wasn't as busy as usual and the car next to him was able to stop safely using its three remaining tires. Steven had come to a stop at an intersection in San Francisco, California when a Ford Crown Victoria came bounding down the hill and plowed right into him. Steven says he didn't feel much and his Tesla only scooted forward a few feet, but the rear camera angle shows the Crown Vic absolutely disintegrating. Ty and his daughter had just finished up a day of skiing in Nordic Valley, Utah. When they returned to their Model 3, they found this Sentry Mode video. Oh man, I'm not really sure what to say about this one. It looks like this guy might have been a little excited for the skiing after party. Anne and her brother were sitting in her Model 3 waiting at a traffic light. They were simultaneously shocked and confused when a silver Mercedes made a left turn and nearly hit them. They weren't sure if the driver was trying to show off his skills to his companion or if he'd just lost control of his steering wheel. The female passenger looked more frightened than impressed. Kelsey was parked at the Venetian Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada when some familiar characters made themselves known to her sentry cam. Kelsey says she hadn't noticed the Batmobile parked on her level. Speaking of Vegas, Joseph and his wife had just gotten back from watching Spider-Man No Way Home when he noticed a wine glass near his Tesla's door that hadn't been there before. When he checked his sentry mode footage, Joseph discovered a guy casually dropping his glass near the wheel of the Tesla. A few seconds later, he came back looking for something, possibly his champagne glass. Luckily, Joseph noticed it before driving off. He can't believe the guy didn't just take it with him since there were plenty of trash cans outside the casino. Some folks don't have to go to a movie theater to see their favorite superhero. Ian was picking up some takeout when he drove through a parking lot and saw Spider-Man in person. Coincidentally, while he was waiting for his takeout order, Ian was actually watching an episode of the Spider-Man cartoon from the 90s. Ian says he sent this video to his wife, his friends, his co-workers, everyone he knows. I'm glad we also made the list. Thanks for sharing. Paul was sitting in his Tesla in a parking lot when an Audi in the middle lane tried to get into the UPS store parking lot from a busy three-lane divided highway. Unfortunately, they were slammed into by a Mercedes. The airbags of both vehicles went off and there was a full emergency response by police, firefighters, and EMS. Two children who'd been riding in the Mercedes got some bumps and bruises. After the accident, the driver of the Audi ran into the UPS store saying he had to mail a very important package. The police went to question him when they arrived. The Massachusetts State Police responded and Paul let them know he had footage of the accident. The officer was very nice but confused when he didn't see a dash cam in the car. Paul told him all about Tesla cam and the officer was thankful saying his job just got a whole lot easier. The Audi driver was cited for making an unsafe lane change. 
Tony was returning home and was turning left into his neighborhood when a kid driving a Chevrolet was exiting their neighborhood. Tony turned and the Chevy pulled out and hit his Tesla on the driver's side. Tony submitted his Tesla cam footage to the other driver's insurance provider and they accepted fault. Tesla sent replacement parts to the body shop and the repair process is expected to last four months. William is a high school junior in Atlanta, Georgia. He went to an away football game in Jackson, which is a big oil county. Check out what he found when he checked his sentry mode footage. William was furious to say the least. He didn't find any visible damage, so he did the most Gen Z thing he could think of. He posted the video on his Snapchat story and asked if anyone knew who the person was. To his surprise, someone found the guy within 30 minutes, and when he sent him this video with the message, Dis you, he was immediately blocked. William just hopes this scared him into never messing with a Tesla ever again. Guan was headed westbound on I-60, traveling through Monterey Park, California, when he noticed a massive amount of dirt being kicked up on the right shoulder. He quickly saved the clip, but it wasn't until four days later that he finally remembered to review it. Two sedans got on the freeway at the same time. The gray sedan drove on the left side of the white one, made an aggressive maneuver, swerved to the right, and hit the white car's left side. This made the driver of the white car lose control, and it rolled over into the shoulder. Then, the gray sedan just drove off. To Guan, it looks like the driver of the gray sedan did this on purpose. What do you think? Leave a comment. Kayla surprised her husband with a Model 3 on Christmas morning. Check out his reaction. Shh. What? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then flip it over. The real one is waiting for you outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, it's not. Is it? Oh, shit. <laughs> Merry oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Kayla says her husband Ryan graduated with his master's degree in November while maintaining two jobs all year. Congratulations on the degree and on the new car, Ryan. Oh, you didn't get the front plate on? Yes! 